Hello, ladies and gentlemen, it's Halvon. Oh my god, that ass. Oh, look at it. Oh, you just wanna. You just wanna. You just wanna. Nah, I, never mind, never mind, never mind. Sorry. Uh, actually, what today's video is about is actually about my experience so far in Mr. Pandaria. What do I think Mr. Pandaria is really to the average player? Um. To the average player, Mr. Pandaria is a drawback to Vanilla WoW. It is, it is what most expansions should be. It's got the right balance of, you know, things to do, combined with not so time-consuming things. It's if you want to go PvP, you go PvP for a little bit. It, the queue times are not bad anymore. If you want to... I'm trying to think of examples here. If you want to PvE, you go PvE. If you want to go out and you want to grind mobs, go grind mobs. Like, the all the footage you're seeing right now is from my leveling up. And I'm not even... I'm not even 90 yet on my pally, but I'm enjoying... Uh, going to 90 because I'm having so much fun with the quests. The most of the quests are like kill X amount of things and collect the things off of them. Well, that's normally how they do it, but now they're doing it a lot, like kind of differently, I think. It's you're killing the things, but then they're combining it with pickup quests that are along the way. So you could be, you're on your way to killing your mobs. But on the way there, you're going to pick up X number of things. And that's really all Guild Wars did. And I think they implemented the this into the and the random quest aspect into it just uh, awesomely. Like, I could, I did a few quests, and then a thing popped up until like, oh, you killed these creatures, and now that you, we've seen that you've killed these creatures, we want you to go over and write the wrongs these creatures have done uh, and, you know, help this village or whatnot. And that's that's cool and then you have little scripted battles here like this that's a lot of mobs and I was like well I wonder if I can pull most of those um, you can pull most of those mobs and you do get experience off of them uh, I couldn't get them all rounded up together so I tried to do one pack at a time I was like well their NPCs are not gonna kill them too too fast um, I kept them up there just to uh, with them down to the two or three, and I was like, okay, I'll pull back and get a bunch more. And, and you know, that was awesome. I could have stayed there and grinded out another level if I wanted to, because I only had like four barriers left. But the point of the matter was, it, it felt nice to just, you know what? That's a kill quest. I'll go kill them. I don't have to sit there and wait for. Uh, a bunch of mobs to respawn because they're so they're spawning so quick that you'll you'll start fighting them in the same pack that you, you've already um, uh, started, which is nice. I like that, I, and it's you know it's something that I've missed over the years of, of doing this. I remember back in Burning Crusade, there was tons of areas that you can mass pull. I like that. Um, that's what I loved about being a paladin. And, you know, a lot of people can say, oh, well, most paladins are paladins and like the paladin way of pulling because of Hobbs. Well, he may have been a key factor into me making a pally, but I can guarantee you that um, my love for mass pulling came way before that because a um, little background, you know, I've... Uh, I've told it before in the Smur video, but uh, I leveled a pally before even knowing about Hobbs to, from level one. This is back when you could start your talent at level one. Level one to freaking it was seventy at the time I think. One to seventy and then to eighty. Most of the time, not knowing about who Hobbs was, I didn't know who Hobbs was until around Lich King, and. Uh, I was all like, man, you know, I've been doing this. I've been, I've noticed the power of a paladin. I've been mass pulling myself. And then that's what kind of got me into, you know, hey, 
I'll, you can make videos too. And anyone can do it, really. And I was like, yes, I can do it. So I started making videos. And, of course, you know, now we're where we're at today. It, it's strange looking back um, on how I used to be. I used to be so timid and scared, but now I'm just, I'm kind of out, out and open about, you know, hey, I play World of Warcraft and make World of Warcraft videos. You want to watch them? You go ahead and watch them. You don't, you know, kindly pass on through, you know, make your rude comment and I'll delete it. And I don't even delete it half the time. I just sit there and watch it and I'm like, oh, some D-bag took the time to, you know, comment on my video. It's not about the videos, though. Mists of Pandaria as a whole is my favorite expansion. I, my favorite expansion to date before Mists of Pandaria was either Lich King or, or uh, my Burning Crusade. Um, this, I would sit by far. Um, from what I've seen in the content, from what I've seen in the questing, from what I've seen in PvE, from what I've done in PvP, it is my expansion. This is my one of my dream expansions, and I hope they continue this with the new ones that they're doing. I know, uh, I think they're trying to guarantee at least two more expansions, um, which would be good. I mean, the longevity of this game is endless um, when you think about it, because they could they could go past uh, they could do they could go to a, a level cap of ninety nine. And then they're like, oh, 99 now? That's cool. 99, that's, that's sweet. Paragon leveling. Or or something else. You know, you can add special abilities to your characters without having to necessarily level, but you have to, like, level skills. So, you know, that would be cool. That, that would be something that they could look into. But I guess with their little Titan project coming around, they're not going to really invest too, too much time in WoW, but... I don't think WoW's at its breaking point yet, so I think they're continuing to deal with this. But I do, I am really absolutely impressed with this expansion pack. I cannot believe that it took this long for this expansion pack to come out because of the fact that everybody's been wanting something like this. So I urge you, if you're if you're not if you're a new player, you know, and, and you're like, wow, like this content is amazing, you know, wait till you get to the Mists of Pandaria content. This, this stuff blows that out of the water, I think. Um, they did a fantastic job revamping um, 1 to 60. Um, but it's clear that a lot of time went into these quests. And they're not just like, it's not just your run of the mill, you know, collect decks number. Like, they throw a lot of humor into these ones now. And I like that. Being a humorous fellow that I am, I do absolutely love when they put humor into their content. Uh, I know I'm rambling on about a lot of it. Oh, there's a ding. 87. Um, that's the only ding in this. Because um, I didn't capture any other of my dings on footage. But I, I was doing... And this last footage is from earlier last night. I'm 88 in this video. And, you know, about, I'm almost halfway to 89. Which is awesome. Um, now I can start doing heroics and stuff, you know, when I'm 90, but the content that I've, I've experienced so far, like, I've done most of this area, these areas twice now. I've done it on my Hunter, and I've done it on my Pally. My Pally appreciates it more simply because of the AoE. Um, my Hunter couldn't really appreciate it. I can I can do some mass pulling on my Hunter, but I, my Hunter's squishy. Whereas my tank, my tank has, you know, X number of health and X number of strength, which increases block, and then have all these things that contribute to my defense. So, you know, it's easier to mass pull and to keep things going and to just continuously run, 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 run. I could stay in this, these two spots and probably level there all day off of grinding mob, but that wouldn't be any fun because there's a whole bunch of quests out there. I really am sorry for the cold, and I do apologize for, you know, the longevity of this video, but I I'm just, I just needed to tell people how fantastic this expansion pack is. The only thing that is missing 
is more interactivity with your guild. I mean, you've got the world bosses that pop up, that's fine. You gotta interact with your guild, it's like, hey, let's go kill this bitch. You've got heroics, okay, let's go and do heroics, you know, with the guild. Yeah, PvP, let's go PvP with the guild, you know, let's go own some face, you know? That's good. That's always been in the game, and, you know, they got the, the scenarios and stuff now for little clicks in the groups and whatnot. That's fine. What I want to see is I'd like to see, like, you know, an instance, like, guild house. That's what I want. I really want, like, a guild house, and I know that they can do it, and I, I know that they've tried it before. I urge them to try it with this new generation of players. And guarantee you, you won't go wrong with it because of the sheer want for it. There's a lot of people that would just, you know what, they'd kill to have that stuff in the game. And I'm one of them. But anyway, guys, this has been, uh, you know, running quite a bit. And we're almost at the length of it. Um, I've rambled on for probably about 12 minutes almost. Uh, yeah, well, 11 minutes and some odd seconds, so almost 12 minutes. Um, and I think I've only said um like twice. That's really good. Just want to thank you guys for watching my videos. Um, I've noticed my, you know, I'm not even going to mention subscriber counts anymore because it's pointless. It fluctuates so much that um, I'm just at the point now where I'm glad to have the people who watch. You know, if you like watching my videos, tell some other people and maybe they'll like watching it too. Anyway, fellas and gentlemen and ladies and, you know, dames, this has been Halvanus. You have been you. Good night, my friends. God bless.